Hey everyone, Flay here. Today I'll be talking about the balancing issues that has been going on lately in Final Fantasy XIV, especially in Phase 1 of BHS, so let's get right into it. Now do know that this issue that I'm going to be talking about is also applicable on other jobs such as Machinist and Red Mage, however in this video I will be mainly covering the tanks. Lately, you might have seen that a lot of streamers and players are swapping their mains from Paladin and Warrior to Gunbreaker and Dark Knight. So what exactly is the issue between the tanks? A lot of players have this misconception and misinformation that just the RDPS tab matters for a job's potential. Because as you can see in the RDPS tab here, most of the tanks are more or less the same DPS within each other. However, what a lot of players do not account for is the ADPS tab, which as you can see here, the difference is much bigger, especially the higher you go on. Another thing is that you cannot really tell players to play Paladin and Warrior and just be able to clear because not majority of players have passed in their previous experiences and have reached the top percentile of their own jobs to be able to perform at that level with Paladin and Warrior. That's why a lot of players are having issues right now. So anyways, let's get back to the ADPS tab. What exactly is the ADPS and what does it matter to the tanks? ADPS is essentially the damage you do within raid buffs. That is, say for example you have a dancer and they have technical finish, you hit within the technical finish, it increases your personal DPS, but in turn that raid DPS goes to the dancer and in turn it affects your total raid party DPS. So for example here, if I check this gunbreaker's uh, uh, or DPS tab here if I hover my mouse, you can see that they hit this amount of DPS within Battle Latini, Chain Stratagem, Technical Finish, Brotherhood and Embolden and in turn these DPS goes to their respective buffers and in turn it goes to the total rate DPS as you can see here. And in turn you can see that the Gunbreaker's personal DPS is increased and hence FFLogs subtracts these numbers and hence it becomes the R DPS. This is where the main issue comes from, because Paladin and Warrior cannot hit so hard within raid buffs compared to Gunbreaker and Dark Knight. So as soon as this becomes an issue and you add up the personal raid DPS differences, as you can see here, there is also a huge difference between the max for the Gunbreaker and Warrior, and in turn you add what they can hit within the raid buffs, it in turn goes to up to let's say around 900 to 1k raid dps total difference now 1k raid dps is a lot especially right now p8s phase 1 has a dps check of 61.5k and doing 1k less just by swapping the tanks or let's say just 500 less is just going to make you not meet the dps check and this is the issue that a lot of players are having right now. Now another thing is that uh, this job balance issue does not really apply to week 1 raiders and world prog raiders. Because say for example you are a week 1 raider and you are not uh, a top tier player in your paladin or warrior and you did not swap to gunbreaker and dark knight say this in turn makes you fail week 1 and clear week 2, this is a one week difference. But say you are a casual player that clears week 8, this means that you are also going to get yourself delayed by another 1 or 2 weeks and this goes on more depending on player skill level. I hope this video was insightful to you to tell you about how to use FFLogs properly and how to check a job's potential because Square Enix has done a really bad job to do the balancing right now in this TA and I hope they fix this in the future. However, I did make a video before talking about this for Samurai as well because Samurai had a lower personal ray DPS. However, in 6.0, the amount of damage it was doing within buffs made up for the damage it lacked in terms of personal ray DPS compared to other jobs that had raid buffs. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time.